Knowledge transfer is a big deal. You know, we have a lot of turnover in my lab in particular because we have a, a heavy undergraduate component. So students are typically in the lab two and a half to three years, and it's important to have a written resource coupled with that video resource to, that can train them up on different methods that we've done. So when I have new students come in and I need them to do a specific procedure or task, I can point to my growing archive of Jove articles and say, look, I need you to do this analysis. Check out this article, it'll teach you how to do it. Actually seeing the experiment being performed by an experienced researcher will give you the most efficient way of actually performing it. I use Jove when I have new students in the lab and I want to demonstrate the technique without using um, reagents or animals. It is an innovative journal in the sense that it couples the video piece to get, provide even more information on how a, a given method is accomplished and it, that supplements the, the written piece. So those two combined, I think, set the reader up for success when they're trying to replicate a given method or protocol. For example, if you read the protocol, Lots of time it's pretty weak, like gently rinse the membrane and then lift it up, and but you don't really know how to gently rinse, uh, how, how gentle it is. Many times people say the, a picture worth a thousand words, and I think the video worth a thousand pictures. I do feel like people are more likely to replicate um, something that's in an article if there's a video associated with it, because it adds a little bit more truth to, to the data so that you can actually visualize that this is really how it occurs. The students find Jove really useful. It means I can show a technique once and then they can go and watch it over and over, which is what you have to do for a lot of biological experiments.